There are so many editing software options out there that deciding on which one to use can be daunting. In this lesson, we're going to go over what to look for when choosing an editing program. One of the first things you'll want to look at is computer compatibility. At the most basic level, this will be whether you have a Mac or a PC. Some editing software programs are dedicated to one or the other, but others are compatible with both. You should also look at any editing software program's minimum computer system requirements to see if the software will run properly on your computer. Here are some key things to look for. Does your computer have the right type of processor for the software you'd like to use? And is the processor fast enough? Does your computer have enough memory? Is a graphic card required? Is the display resolution good enough? Will the editing software work with your computer's operating software? And what's the minimum amount of hard drive space needed for the actual application itself? If you already have a camera, you'll want to be sure that the edit software that you choose is compatible with the types of files that the camera creates. A great place to start is to see if an editing program is already installed on your computer. New Macs come with the latest version of iMovie, which is part of iLife, and PCs come with Windows Live Movie Maker. Next, figure out how much you'd like to spend. Editing software programs can range from free to over a thousand dollars. Prices are going down all the time, and there are quite a few really good editing programs out there that are under a hundred dollars. The good news is that many editing software programs offer a free trial, so you can see what it's like before you buy it. After you've decided how much you'd like to spend, you'll need to figure out what you're going to use your editing program to create. Are you making home movies to share with family and friends? Or are you planning on creating something more complicated that you plan to use for more professional use? Many edit software companies offer both a prosumer and a more complex or professional version. This leads to the next thing you should look for, which is ease of use. Every editing software program has three basic components to it. A way to get your footage from your camera into your computer, a way to edit that footage, and a way to export your movie when you're finished with it. Usually, but not always, the more professional an editing program is, the more complicated it is to learn, simply because it can do more things. But there are some programs that offer user-friendly, easy-to-learn features for a beginner, and also have more complicated features that you can learn as you get more experienced. This is where doing a bit of research online to see what other users have to say can really help out, but nothing beats just getting your own hands on a program and giving it a test drive. Technical support is another thing to check out. Does the edit software have a help menu built into the program itself? Is there good online support? And what about phone support if you get really stuck? Especially when you're starting out, you'll want to know that you can get the help you need as you progress. You'll also want to see if your editing software allows you to create effects, if that's something that you want to do. Another feature to take a look at is how easy the audio editing is. Some editing programs offer a limited number of audio tracks that you can work with. This can be an issue if the software only allows for two audio tracks and you want to have the sound from your footage playing on one track, music playing on another, and you telling the story on a third track. Finally, does the editing program come bundled with other useful applications, such as an integrated way to create a DVD of your finished movie? The bottom line is that no one will know what editing system you use to create your movie, so it should be something that feels accessible and right to you. You should be able to find just the right editing program for you by keeping these three key things in mind. Will it work with my computer system? Will it work with my camera? And is it something I will find easy to learn and use?